fancy woodworking has asked us to come up with ideas and help them design their logo. And we said, challenge accepted. In this particular instance, we thought we were going to do woman versus machine or men versus machine. This is a logo that was created by AI. So we're going to go through the process of using ChatGPT as well as Playground AI to create this amazing looking logo. Then we're going to jump in on Canva. We're going to use the amazing, beautiful fonts that are on Canva to create this logo. And the last one is the men or the woman that was created by me using shapes on Canva. Please join me. Going to start with AI, and this is what I've input on ChatGPT to help guide me with a prompt that I could use on Playground AI. I asked the software that I want to create a symbol for a logo that would represent a company that is a design furniture. The company's name is Fancy Woodworking. Can they please help me generate prompts that I can use on Playground to produce this? And the outcome, we're going to jump in on Playground AI to see what we got out of that software. Log in on playgroundai.com and then choose your filter that you want to use and choose the number of pages that you want to use. We've started using the Stable Diffusion 1.5 for a couple of tries to see if we can get the nice symbol of what we are looking for. Paste your prompt on the prompt area and then click on generate. I've tried it for about 30 minutes looking for a nice icon that I wanted. Then I changed the prompt to try and suit what I'm looking for for the fancy woodworking logo that I'm looking for. And yeah, it was a, I'll, I'll show you now and fast forward the number of tries that I had to do to come up with different results. and. Most of the time it was giving very similar results. And then eventually we changed strategy a little bit. To finally get results on the software, we had to change the model from Stable Diffusion 1.5 and we've adjusted it to Stable Diffusion 2.1. That is when we started getting at least the results that are looking like a wood and they're looking like a logo and I was happy with that. If you've missed the basics of Stable Diffusion, please go watch this video. It's going to help you out. After I got this logo or this symbol, I was quite happy. I just downloaded it and I jumped in on Canva to finalize the design. From your canva.com, go to logo and create a blank logo canvas. Then click and upload your downloaded image from Playground AI to your canvas. And then after it is uploaded and selected, click on edit image to remove the background of the image. If you don't have Canva Pro, then you can trial it for 30 days using my link below. However, before you even come to Canva, if you're using Canva free, then remove the background using remove.bg or erase.bg. Next, you're going to press T for text to add the font of Fancy Wood Working's name. I found this gorgeous wood looking like font that's called Metropolis. Then add it and change it and then add the slogan of the company and that's it. This is the AI design. We're going to jump in on Photo P after we've shown all of the design to convert them to 3D. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this. If this is adding value, smash the like button, please. Let's jump in and do the second version of Canva as Canva AI. Our second logo happens right here on Canva. Canva is very good when it comes to fonts and they have merged with the company that has given us amazing fonts, including the Helvetica. And with this logo, we're going to be using beautiful fonts or one of the fonts that really looks like wood and it is unique. After adding text, you can then change the font. The font's name is High Tide Geometry. Then we're going to change the initials of the company, which is FWW for Fancy Woodworking. And then in order for you to hack the two lines or the two bars look, because if you just add it as normal as you see on the screen now, 
it comes up as normal without the two lines of your of a logo design so if you want the two lines the heck is simply use your text effects click on effects and then select hollow then you'll have that beautiful design next we're going to press t for text we're going to add the name of the company and we're going to jump back to our effects and we're going to be adding a background on the name of the font so creating the AI version of Canva was straightforward and easy. We just played around with a couple of designs and then to see which one we eventually liked. So it is a designer choice. I will just fast forward this one and then we're done with AI. Now it's time to look at my design. Let me know which one is your favorite. I won't take offense, I promise. Just let me know in the comments which one is your, your favorite. We're going to add an extra page and we're going to create a design from scratch using shapes on Canva. From your keyboard, use the R shortcut for rectangle to add a square and then size your square to make it a rectangle shape. For this one, we're trying to create an L lookalike because we would like to have these L form a wood-like design and using different colors of wood using the rectangles. Next, duplicate your rectangles to have two copies and then one of the copies change the color and make it white and then size it on the first rectangle to cover it halfway so that the one section is white and the other section is oak like or brown looking like next take the last copy and change color of that one make it white so reduce this the rectangle to square size like and make it white and then add it or align it on top of your half size rectangle to create that l shape that we're looking for you are doing great the next step is to download your design as a transparent background but that doesn't matter because canva has changed the way they do things so what you're going to do you're going to click on share and you're going to download the design and then your next step we're going to be using a website called remove.bg to take off the white so you're going to upload your design and then remove the white and then click on download then you're going to jump back on canva because we don't need the rectangles anymore, we're going to select all of them and delete them. Then we're going to upload the design that we've just downloaded from remove.bg. Next, you're going to crop out the extra spaces and then size and align your L to the exact shape that you want in order for you to create that icon that we would like to create. Then duplicate the image to have an extra image. And then go and click on edit image because we would like to change the color and have different wood colors for our design. So we're going to use the Duotone app that we have on Canva. Whether you're using the old one or the new one, it's available on both. Then go pick different wood-like colors that you're going to change for four L's that you're going to be creating. Your next step is to create four L's. Make sure that you align them in a box shape look like that is going to be creating a box shape that is wood like and that's going to allow you to add a design inside. Your last step would be for you to create a nice design inside. So press C for circle. And with your circle, we would like to add a wall drop because this is a furniture company. We want to show customers we are creating customized furniture. So then we're going to press R for rectangle and create a wardrobe like. We're going to reduce the square and then duplicate it to have two and then duplicate it to have tall looking designs that represent a wall drop and then add lines on this wardrobe and add an extra color on the last wardrobe to show that this is a furniture add it to your circle and then add it inside the design of the squares that look like a furniture 
our last step would be to add text. I am comfortable adding the bold font. If you don't know how to upload your own fonts, please go find this video that we did before. And then that's pretty much it. I am super excited to know what your version and your final verdict, verdict of the man versus machine logo is because right now we're going to convert all three logos using the same mock-up just to keep everything fair. So we're going to jump in on photo P and convert it to 3D. After you've downloaded your design as transparent background from Canva, then you're going to open templates. And if you want to find new templates, click on mockups and go to new. Graphics family have done a couple of beautiful mockups that are available. One of them is this elegant one that we're going to be using. We're going to open it and click on the link for the mockup to open up. Once it has opened up, you're going to go to the right hand side and double click where it says your logo here. And then it would open an example. Click on the eye to hide the example and then click and drag your design that you would like to convert to 3D and then size it and align it to be as big as possible as you've seen with the example shown by the designer and then you're going to press command s or control s on your keyboard or you could always go file and save as smart object once it has changed and saved as smart object then you can click on the first tab to go access your design of your 3d your last step is to export your design you're going to go file export as and you choose the file type that you would like to export it as it will save on your downloads and that's pretty much it let me know in the comments the verdict of the man versus machine what you take away from this this video is that there are many ways to create designs and have fun with the designs that your customers are going to resonate with as well as yourself if you're designing for yourself fancy woodworking please let us know which one you like or which one is your favorite we truly enjoyed this if you want to watch more of our videos go to the logo design playlist and have fun we will see you on the next video